good afternoon everybody it is april 4th of 2023 here along the north shore of lake superior one of my favorite spots called stony point and i was planning on heading out to do some work on the uh apiaries today try and give them a little uh some uh feed mainly uh maybe some poly padding pollen patties excuse me almost got blown over there pollen patties and some uh fondant but uh as you can probably see it's probably a wise decision i made not to go out um Peak gust uh, before I left the house was 40 miles an hour, and down here, right on the edge of Lake Spear, I imagine it's a little bit more. Uh, earlier today, it was peak gust was 37, and later this evening, we're supposed to have peak gusts around 55 miles per hour. So this is what it looks like when Lake Superior gets whipped up in what we call a nor'easter. And uh, let's see, we got. Uh, this is not actually going to be the worst of it. Uh, tomorrow, during the day, we're supposed to be getting peak gusts right around 65 miles an hour here. So I imagine the waves will be even a little more aggressive. Right now, they're saying some of the rollers out here on Lake Superior are going to be anywhere from 10 to 20 feet in height. Top of the, from the bottom of the, uh, the swell to the top of the swell, 10 to 20 feet. So you can probably see some of these uh, rolling in here and uh, crashing against the shore. Anyway, uh, trying out the Lavier mic again. Lavalier, excuse me. And let's see, whoops, almost got wet feet on that one. And uh, this, uh, last time I used it, I had some uh, wind noise in there. And uh, this time I'm trying it with a dead mouse on there. I graduated from dead kitten, which are big, wind suppressors uh, down to a, a dead I should say a dead cat is a big one dead kittens uh, next size down and now we got a dead mouse which is just a little tiny one here for the lavalier anyway so here is the uh, this is what it looks like during a storm here uh, we're projected to get anywhere from uh, four to eight inches of new snow how exciting and we have uh, well, let's go back. Uh, March, on record now, March uh, was our third snowiest March on record this past March, March of 2023. And so far this snow season, we are uh, at the number five spot as far as all-time record highs, number five. Uh, there's, there's a slight chance we'll break the record, uh, even if... Uh, Especially if some of this uh, rain that they predicted actually stays in the solid form in snow here. But, uh, so there you go. I almost feel like a, uh, one of those meteorologists on the, the Weather Channel out here in this wonderful, uh, great weather. So there you have it. Even, uh, even in this wind, we've got seagulls out there flying around. Uh, probably herring gulls. Then there's also black, <laughs> black herring gulls. But uh, not much else here, except me. There's a couple uh, other locals that drive by once in a while here, but nonetheless, it's uh, an interesting time out here on the shores of Lake Superior. Again, uh, Stony Point. Well, welcome back to a bit of a warmer climate in here. Uh, again, it is April 4th of 2023, and uh, the storm is still raging outside. 
You might even hear the door over here slam a little bit and snow and corn snow, which is more commonly known as grapple, hitting the windows. But uh, let's get her going. Uh, one thing I did do is listen to the video that I just took down a stony point there. And it sounds like, really, really that was almost a pun. It sounds like the uh, little dead kitten, I'm sorry, the dead mouse worked pretty good on uh, keeping the wind noise down to a bare minimum, if any. So I'm quite happy with that. Another thing I discovered while editing some of these videos was uh, my voice kept ending up over on the left channel. And then when I would mix in some music, all of a sudden my voice would appear on the right channel a little bit. So did some digging and found out, yes, digging meaning don't tell anybody, I looked at the instructions, uh, discovered that the receiver I have, which actually I can put on two microphones on there, which I did on purpose in case I have a guest on, and uh, that the uh, default setting is the microphone number one, which I've been using, will go to the left channel by default. And of course, microphone number two would go to the right channel. So in digging around, I did discover that uh, there's a way to set the receiver up so that uh, if I'm just using one microphone, it'll go to both left and right channels. Or if I'm using two microphones, the left channel, right channel, or I can mix both mic one and mic two into both channels, left and right channels. So that is set. Hopefully uh, this will work a little better. You won't be listening over onto uh, the left channel of your speaker and wondering why there's no audio coming out the right side. So got that fixed. Well, uh, since the storm is raging outside and I couldn't go uh, check on the bees today and try and give them some, some fondant and some pollen patties, I was able to say it this time because my mouth wasn't frozen shut from the wind and the cold out there, uh, decided to come up to a shop. And uh, this is a public workshop we have up here. And as you can see behind me, lots of uh, equipment in here. Of course, the bandsaw, table saw, joiner. There's a couple different planers back here. Um, uh, oscillating sanders over there. Uh, <laughs> router, a chop saw over there. The walls lined with clamps. Oh yeah, it's a... Anyway, I'll, I'll continue up with the, uh, the workshop here. It is a community workshop. It uh, was created a long time ago, I believe 1980 was uh, its inception, and uh, they, they got some land here in a small town pretty close to where I live, a little town called Two Harbors, and uh, it's uh, open and available for people like me who are now retired and, and uh, have this uh, gray hair coming in. Uh, it's, called, it's actually called, I hate to say it, a senior citizen workshop, but uh, I've enjoyed using it, especially uh, throughout storms like this, and uh, it's a little bit cold in my garage. I don't have a heated garage, so I enjoy coming up here and using the, the workshop. So it's been a blessing this year. So I thought I'd finish up a project I started last week. I ran out of material last week, uh, namely uh, number eight hardware cloth. So I had some more come in, and uh, it's here. I just cut up a bunch more pieces. But uh, I've been watching, of course, a lot of other YouTube channels, and uh, namely uh, Mr. Ed, Jeff Horkoff out there, uh, Cayman Reynolds, Nathan at Duck River, uh, Mike Berry is out there somewhere, um, and, and many others. But they've all been using these double-sided, or I should say double-screen divider boards. And... Um, so I thought, okay, that looks like something I should need because I'm hoping to do some splitting this spring sometime and early summer. And uh, I looked around, did some research, and uh, found some that were relatively inexpensive, but I did, you know, once again, I thought maybe I could do my own and maybe do a little better job. So this is, uh, this is what I came up with here. So I've got, the, uh, of course, the uh, number eight hardware cloth on both sides. Um, and a uh, three-quarter inch board frame all the way around. And the frame, frame looks something like this. Um, we've got uh, a cross piece, what I'm calling the bridge in the middle, to help support the screen. 
And uh, I also, I, I've seen all these uh, divider boards that have just a hole in the back, and I thought, well, I'll do a little fancier. I'm going to give them a landing and, and takeoff pad here, too. So uh, that was implemented in here. And on the back side, we're also keeping a gap in here for the box that's on the top for the entrance and exit for the bees. So that's what I have come up with. Uh, I've got a few of them already assembled and I thought we'd just go through quick here, fast forward time, and uh, assemble one or two of them for you. So let me reposition the camera and uh, we'll get going. And there you have it. A few more to do and I get to head home. Thank you for watching this episode from Windy Ridge Apiaries. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on any newly posted videos. And at your discretion, please leave a comment below. And until next time, do a good day.